from particularly vulnerable tribes, and she made it in Doha's, a national law university in Australia. She's in the first, she's doing her first year right now. She is all of their seniors. She's the most senior. Yeah. 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 She's and she's inspiring way. everyone to study law. Same, like she's studying the same school where all the students study, and she is a role model to everyone because she is the one who started it. Like. Yes. She's from a tribe called Kapanaika, where a particularly you know, tribe who's like with just a lot of uh, issues in the past. And she's the first law graduate that emerged with tribe. So, yeah. <laughs> My name is Anita. I am the team leader for IDIA Central Chapter. IDI is the organization that supports. Uh, so my name is Sharon. I'm practicing in Kerala High School. And I'm graduated from Kerala. And I'm in charge of the IDI Kerala chapter activities, especially the city of Ireland. Please stop. You can stop eating. Yes. How do you say privilege? Abogash. Huh? Abogash. 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 Right. Tell me. You did. That is a fun. Kerala University in a virtual. So he hasn't been you know, in college yet. So that's a key. This statue, of course, does not just represent a person. This statue represents the action of a person. So when we look at this statue, we do not just remember Mahatma Gandhi ji. We also remember his action and the way he lived his life. He had the Gita, the Quran and the Bible, the Guru Granth Sahib as his guide. So I hope when people look at this statue, when they drive past this road, they remember the action of Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah. Thank you. 